so this is a new type of a trending effect that going on on youtube so i just wanted to try it out for the very first time so one thing i noticed this effect is going to look great if only you have like a colorful dress image now this is going to really work great so before that we have to plan where these lines are going to go what i thought was it would be cool if i can send it under here under the hand and maybe behind this hand as well and maybe something like this then we, we would put a line that goes behind him something like this would be cool too let's try it out not sure how this is going to turn out because this is the very first time i'm going to try this brush so this is a brush tool so under that you can see the mixer brush tool take it and increase the size of the brush using the left or right scale bracket keys that every one of you should know now this one i'm going to put it like much lower so it can go beneath the hand that's the plan right uh, now all you have to do is take a sample of the brush by holding alt then press now when you click drag as you can see we are dragging his face but it only works uh, good if it's if you put on a new layer so that you can just move it like after you are done with it you can just move it arrange them and everything is possible but before anything of course we need to remove him out of the background so i will i will quickly do that all right so i have cut him out of the background as you can see now we will get that tool but before that under the background like on top of the background i'll create a new layer now let's get the mixer brush tool so let's take let's say a copy from here so i want all the all of these three colors should be there maybe that's a good spot to take a copy right there now as you can see that particular area shows so how do you do that i have to hold down alt then take a sample copy then that area will show then you just have to click drag now notice how this is much smoother like what if i want a different type of a brush then you have to open this drop down menu then uh, the dry which will seems to look like this then we have the dry heavy load that is good looking too and notice how when i drag this it's really slow and sluggish that is because i am working on a very high resolution so it has to do a lot of processing so when i zoom in as you can see this is a very high resolution image so if you are having this trouble then you go to image image size and as you can see this is a much larger image what we could do is i will put this all the way down when this chain is enabled link is enabled then i will put this all the way down to 4000 like 4k image is more than enough for us now when i take the same tool and then when i click drag notice how this time it is much more faster and still this is even more slower because of the 4k image what we could do is maybe put it down down to 2000 again yeah now as you can see it's super smooth and fast even if you want more faster then you can uh, reduce even more but i'm thinking okay this is more than enough so it's just sample a copy from here by holding down the alt key one press and then click drag so the plan is to on this new layer we will start from here i guess also one more thing uh, make sure uh, this one the smoothness of the brush is set to like 100 not zero if it's zero it will not look smooth every time you draw so make sure to put it to maximum like now it's super smooth and everything uh, this is the good one i also think the other one also fine even this is not that bad like i kind of like uh, the wet one also that is much more realistic uh, this wet brush we'll try both okay so first of all i'm going to try with the dry heavy load and I'll, I'll tell you the awesome difference between these ones and these ones let's first do this first so alt click on it take a copy the right there I start from here and then click drag like this okay i will end it there i guess now all we have to do is for now put it to the top and then you have to select the arms and you have to you know uh, cut it out so but before that let's select the arm and the skateboard i guess 
control c to copy control v to paste now i just have a copy like this then all you have to do is put this below that and as you can see looking great so far now we need to cut the other hand uh, control c control v notice how it doesn't get pasted exactly on the top so if this is the problem that you are facing control c first control shift v then it's going to paste exactly on top Okay. now we will put this below i mean the hand to the top now as you can see this is looking great and all mm, looking good but we have to add shadows to make it look more good but before i move on to the next part i have to tell you something sometimes if the settings of the brush if you press this if the spacing is increased a lot more then when you are using this tool it's not going to work properly it's going to work like this notice how the spacing is way too much then what do you do you press this button and you reduce the spacing all the way to like one percentage then it'll be super smooth okay just remember that now maybe on this new layer i could this time around i could try to put the yellow this take the yellow part or maybe not maybe the older one itself is good okay so let us take a copy from here mm, maybe here okay right there right there all right i'm okay with this so what i'm going to do is start from the top go all the way here just like that so i'm going to send it all the way to the back and i just want to move it a little bit to a side because it's touching the headphones i don't like it so i'll move it here and then here we have another problem so what you could do is just uh, rotate it maybe make it overall bigger you could solve that issue like that okay now we, we just have to select this uh, con hold down control and click on this now it will get selected turn it to into a selection what do you do you hold down control and click on this thumbnail to take a selection now create a new layer and get your brush tool and and this time not the mixer brush of course just a normal brush fill it with black color and then create some shadows just like that here a little bit too now as you can see looking good but too much of shadow maybe i'll reduce it to a bit more of a lower number right there and here as well so let's do the same thing hold on control and click on the thumbnail create a new layer and just paint i'm thinking uh, i'm cool with the you know opacity maybe a little bit down mm, yeah that's good we'll do the same thing for this two underneath the hand for this one of course for this one you control click on it create a new layer on top of it take the brush tool and just paint like this more shadow at the top little bit of less shadow here control d to deselect if you feel that's too much reduce it and now it's much more better okay without the shadow it doesn't look more realistic right we will do the same thing here as well control click on this and just create overall shadows here yeah if you feel too much reduce its strength a bit and now on top of this person so control click on the person create a new layer on top of him right here get the brush tool it's already selected all i have to do is just reduce the size of the brush maybe and and then yeah i'll increase the flow to all the way 100 percentage okay when the flow is low it's not going to work well so flow all the way 100 i'll just create a bit more of shadow there shadow here as well maybe a little bit here not much a little bit here and here maybe all right this is without the shadow this is with the shadow but it's too much let us select the reduce the opacity a bit not bad at all now let's talk about the other one okay so all i'm doing is selecting all of this but before that i'll select this person control j take a copy send him all the way to the top okay select every layer in between other than the main one the one at the top and one at the below now press ctrl g so we can just hide it and we can work on our new 
new edit okay so select this create a new layer get your mixer brush tool and this time we are going to go with uh, not this one okay we are going to go with the very wet heavy mix for now and let's sample a copy from here itself and then click drag i'm going to put it below this person yeah now this is really cool notice how notice how when it passes this part of the dress it's all purple as soon as it passes the hand it's all the skin tone color how cool is that it's really cool okay so i see majority of the online videos they use this but i found this is cool but it's not that realistic but if you were to make it more realistic then i would highly recommend go for uh, this method so let's start let's select this let's take a sample copy from here and then all i have to do is uh, just start do the same thing i guess let's do it so click from out go in yeah and then if you just check it out it didn't work well why is that because uh, this layer was switched off so it's not working well so let us switch it on now yeah now as you can see it is working right look at this it's working so one more time alt click right there let's start from out go like this go like that okay now we just need those copies back right these two these two back so select these two control j and put it all the way here out yeah now as you can see all i have to do is just put this on top notice how right here this is this doesn't work really well if i hide all of this you can see it clearly i guess now on this new layer it also you know drags that a person's image it keeps the person image and therefore we have to you know do some extra work if we need to really make this look good so let's do it this time little more differently okay so what you can do is this is the very first time me when i'm trying to do this okay i have no idea this would happen so you're going to see something I handle in real time so what I'm going to do is hold down control and click on this so I can take a copy of that I will take the same tool the mixer tool same tool the the copy in here is the correct one awesome I'll create a new layer new layer then I will hide every layer okay like this I'll hide every layer now when I click drag I can only drag those parts so what I will do is I will follow this selection. Okay, I'll start from here. Maybe I can make the size of the brush a little bit bigger. Okay, and then we'll start doing this. Okay, very slowly. I will do that. Now I'll press Control D. As you can see, I have this on the new layer. All you have to do is enable back everything. All right, now just apply a layer mask to this. But before that, I'll hide it. Yeah, also put this below right here, I guess. No, on top of this, okay? Let's apply a layer mask to that. Press Control i after that so it will get inverted. Now get your brush tool, the normal one. And just paint on top of it like this. Okay? Exactly like that. Of course, this should go to the top, right? I'll get the brush tool and I'll just paint very carefully here. As you can see, now th is this is really cool. Okay, before we couldn't see, now we can see how awesome is that. So that's how you handle this, tackle this task and all. Now, I think uh, better than our very first version. Okay, if I can add shadows to this, this is going to look even more many times cooler. Okay, have a look. But I like the way how it's white color and all. So two different ways how you do you can do that. I'm not going to add shadows and show you, but you can try it. Here's the first approach we went, and here's the sec second approach. 
I personally like this a bit more because I kind of feel this is more realistic compared to this one. Okay, let me know your thoughts on which one of these you try and if you try and if you find anything new, let me know and see you all on my next video.